Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of KD Crafts. In the previous video we looked at how to make a Roman catapult, we've looked at how to make a Roman ballista, but this week we're looking at making a more traditional toy. And I give you the bagatelle board. Before the pinball machine and the ski ball machine, you had the bagatelle board. Powered very simply by a couple of coiled springs and an Arcus rubber band, you could fire a marble or a ball bearing up around the course and try and land it in one of the many ball traps on the board. So with the introduction out of the way, let's have a look at the tools and materials we're going to need. Okay, for this project you're going to need the following materials. You're going to need a backboard for your bag of tailboard. I've chosen a piece of 3mm plywood which I've cut to 60cm long by 30cm wide. To form the edges and the traps of your bag of tailboard, you're going to need either some of this square cross-section wood. It's wood doweling. I bought mine from TTS or Consortium if you want to buy in bulk for school. It's one centimetre square and it's just the, right the height, just the right height for a marble to run alongside but not jump over. Then you're also going to need a small piece of four or five millimeter wood doweling. You're going to need a couple of brass thumbtacks and two rubber bands, which are exactly the same size. As well as those materials, you're also going to need these tools. So begin with a pair of goggles, a bench hook to hold your pieces of wood in place, a junior hacksaw and a clamp to hold all those bits and bobs in place. As well as that, you're also going to need a form of glue. A, I found that a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks work just as well, but you can also get away with using wood glue or PVA. As well as that, you're also going to want a ruler, 30 centimetres or longer, and a pencil. And finally, you're, either, you're going to want a way of drawing a half circle. Now, you can either use a, a large compass, or I found that a piece of card with a little tack in the end and the pencil works just as well. So, with all the tools and materials out of the way, Let's get started with measuring our wood. So the first step is to draw the curve on the top of your bagatelle board, which the marble is going to fire up, around and back down. In order to do that, take a ruler and measure half the width of your board. For me, this is 15 centimetres. Then at the 15 centimetre mark, you want to move down 15 centimetres. We've got a point that is equidistant between your edges and then also equal distance from here. Now comes the bit where your compass is going to play. Now I don't have a compass, however you can get away with using a piece of card with either a thumbtack in it because once we put that in on your centre spike there, if your pencil is held in place here, if you then hold that still and move this around it will move exactly the same way as a compass, creating a nice round line to trace a perfect half circle. So all we do very simply is just line up the pencil with the edge of your board here, make a little mark where the edge is, then you can use your nail to poke through, so your pencil picks through, line your nail back up with your centre hole again, and then making sure that your, oopsie daisy, that your tack doesn't move out of the way, There we go. Put your pencil inside there and then run your pencil around using the card to guide it. And back. And there you can see you've got a perfect half circle there which is going to be the curve that our bag of tailboard marbles are going to follow. So that's out of the way. Now it's time for you to decide on the shape of your board pieces. Now at this point I'd recommend taking a piece of your woods and literally draw, drawing it as a template. So you want to make sure that the sides of your bag of tailboard meet just up here where your curves are. Mm -hmm.
So once you've got your plunger ready, you're going to take your four brass thumbtacks, flat profile the best, and you're going to attach two, one here and there, and one underside here and here. And you're going to push them in gently. I suggest you start with the top. So we're going to gently push our thumbtacks in, so allowing a bit of a space underneath, and repeat on the opposite side. Try and keep your thumbtacks a kind of adjacent and parallel to each other. Then you're going to hook your rubber bands over the top like that. And once they're in place, you're going to push them firmly into the pine like that so they hold in place. Then repeat on the opposite sides, hooking it round and pressing it into the pine, nice and flat. Then you're going to turn, uh, turn over your boards, bring your rubber bands with you, and making sure they're slightly taut, you're going to take your thumbtack and press it in just underneath there, whoopsie daisy, where the rubber bands hold, just like that. And press up into the wood, we'll go through the ply and up into the pine. And there you go guys, one completed bag of tail boards. As you can see it's working pretty nice in the background there. The, balls, the marbles are landing nicely in the ball traps and the side bumpers are doing their job as well. A nice addition you could make down here would be an extra bar at the bottom, about a centimetre and a half up from the base, for storing your marbles in before you use them on the main plunger. As you can see on the right side I've also added a little bit of card, this is to help the plunger stay nice and straight as it plunges the marble. It also covers it up a little bit, adding an element of mystery. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and you found it useful. If you did, do try doing this with your children or with some other people, and then do make a comment in the video below. And as always, if you've got any questions about any parts of the project, I know a lot of it was sped up. Hopefully that will involve to make it a little bit more interesting and less boring watching very small movements. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, do check out the channel for other projects. And I'll catch you soon.